The 2019 Guinness Six Nations kicked off on a cold, wet Parisian Friday night. But under floodlights, the Stade de France created a wonderful backdrop to the opening game of this year's championship. For France, after a fourth-place finish last year and a run of six defeats in seven tests, the home support came perhaps more in hope than expectation. Wales were on a run of nine straight wins, looking to go one better than the runners-up finish in last year's championship. Jacques Brunel gave a debut in the centre to 19-year-old Romain Entemac, son of the Grand Slam winner Emile. But it was the experienced Louis Picamol who scored the first try of this season's championship. France drew the Welsh defence in before spreading the ball wide to Picamol and he cleverly switched direction before using his strength to drive over the line to the delight of the home crowd. It was an outstanding score from the Montpellier number eight. Morgan Parra missed the conversion, but France had an early 5-0 lead. Wales thought that they had levelled matters on 17 minutes, but after good work initially from Josh Navidi, the ball was moved quickly through Welsh hands to Liam Williams. He charged for the line and just about made it for what looked like the first score of the game for the visitors. The referee Wayne Barnes referred it to the TMO Rowan Kitt after a replay on the big screen in the stadium drew a reaction from the crowd and a word in the ear from the TMO. To Welsh dismay, Williams was deemed to have knocked on as he slid over. France's five-point advantage remains. That lead was doubled on 23 minutes. Lopez, Entemac, Fofana and Ituria all involved before winger Juan Uge showed his turbo-powered pace on the wing to sprint over for try number two for Brunel's men. It was a brilliant score from the Toulouse man, but the big Clermont flanker, Artur Ituria, has to take great credit for the marvellous offload to set Uge on his way. France 10 0 ahead. Para missed the conversion once more, but neither that nor the incessant rain could dampen the spirits of the Stade de France crowd. The Cami Lopez penalty made it 13 0. And with the clock in the red, the Clermont fly half rounded off a superb first half for France with an excellent drop goal to make it 16 points to no score, leaving Wales shell shocked and with a huge task to try and get back into the game. Wales had to score first in the second half to have any chance, and that's exactly what they did after 47 minutes. After a quite brilliant piece of footwork from Worcester winger Josh Adams, Thomas Williams was sent clear, the card of scrum half marking his Guinness Six Nations debut with a try. Great work from Adams, Williams with a moment to remember. Anscombe added the extras to leave it France 16, Wales 7. Thanks, Pendulum was swinging towards the visitors, and on 52 minutes, Warren Gatlin's side were right back in it. When George North chased down what seemed to be a lost cause, but a nightmare moment for Uge gave the Ospreys man a present of a try. The conditions played a major part in the error from Uge, but he knew that it was a calamitous mistake, and North was alert to capitalise. Anscombe converted to narrow the gap to two points, 16-14. Dan Bigger was on as a substitute, and it was his boot that edged Wales in front as the game moved into the final quarter. Conditions for all kickers were testing, but Bigger landed a beauty to make it 17-16, and put Wales in front for the first time. With the game moving towards the final 10 minutes, a brilliant French scrum completely dominated their opponents to earn a penalty. And Lopez was left with the easy task of chipping the ball over to restore Le Bleu's lead to 19-17. There was still more drama to come. France, with their tails up, tried to spread the ball from right to left. But Bahamahina's looping pass was well read by North, who did very well to hold on to it in such difficult conditions. He was clear and wasn't going to be caught. His second gifted try of the night would see Wales back in front, Bahamahina's pass optimistic and somewhat reckless, and North took full advantage. Bigger converted to leave Wales 24-19 in front, and that's how the game would finish. With home games to come against England and Ireland, 
Warren Gatland said a win in Paris would give his side a real chance to win the title this year. It's a good start, now ten wins in a row for Wales. France face England at Twickenham next time, but this was a game they'll feel slipped out of their grasp. Final score in Paris, France 19, Wales 24.